Welcome back. Today let's take a look at how we can clear tracks on a Linux target machine. After a successful breach of the target system, it is advisable to clear every track of our presence. No one wants to be caught. We also need root permissions to be able to clear any log files on the target system. Thus, before attempting to clear logs, you should always do privilege escalation if you are a normal or a non root user. So in a in a Windows target machine, uh, if you if you are used to doing this penetration testing uh, sorry penetration testing tasks, you will notice that uh, if you want to clear the log files on a Windows machine, it is as easy as issuing the command clear rev. So the command clear rev will clear all the log files on the target machine that is running Windows. In a Windows machine, uh, things don't work that way. We need to go and clear all the log files one by one. In Linux, system login is stored in the var log directory. So today I have my Metasputable tool running here. So from my previous videos, you will know that Metasportable 2 runs on Ubuntu, Debian, Linux. And then I have a, I have a session already on my Metasploit, in, uh, sorry, me, uh, Metasploit framework. So if I do sessions, I have a session here. I'll just go ahead and interact with it. Session interact with one. And now I'm in the shell. So by what I meant by the var log directory, if I do ls, I have var here. So if I come to the metasportable 2, I do ls2, you notice that the var log is here. If I cd to the var, then ls again, the log files are right here in this log directory. If I cd to that log directory, ls, and now these are the log files, the authentication logs, daemon logs, we have kernel logs, mail server logs here, we also have user logs, uh, VSTPD logs for the FTP server. If I come to the attacking side, I see the same, same things here. So I cd to the var directory, then ls, the same, same thing, we have the log file here, cd log, ls again. Let me just clear the screen. ls. Now we have the logs here. The authentication logs, the daemon logs, the kernel logs, mail logs. So, as a penetration tester or ethical hacker, you can't just go ahead and remove these log files altogether because that will raise flags. You need to be stealthy. You, don't, you just go, don't go ahead and leave digital footmarks everywhere. Now, today I'm going to show you how you can empty the contents of these log files without necessarily having to remove them altogether. I'm going to use a simple command. For example, let's first go ahead and see if, uh, let's take a, uh, the authentication.log, let's see if it has any information inside. Uh, sorry, I can do cut. So we do have, we do have some information. The daemon log. So let's see if the daemon log has any information. The, the daemon.log. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, so the daemon log doesn't have anything. Let's do mail.log. The mail log is also empty. What about the user.log? User.log. It's also empty. The vsftpd.log. It's also empty. Now, let me show you how you can, so the, again, 
the authentic we have some logs inside the authentication.log file we have some information now let's go ahead and try to empty this contents remember if i just wanted to remove the whole log file i can do remove out log but i won't be doing that because that will raise flags so what i can do i can do echo followed by the right arrow then out dot log and enter now if i do cut out dot log it's now empty okay so echo this command is the easiest way to remove the contents of a log file i have another log file here dpkg.log let's see if it has anything okay so the dpkg.log file has a lot of information potentially incriminating information that can lead the attacker to us so what we are going to do we can go ahead issue the same command echo followed by the right arrow then dpkg.log and then enter now if i do cut dpkg.log again all this information should be gone there should be nothing cut sorry cut dpkg.log uh -huh. sorry what's happening let's clear it now cut dpkg.log now it's empty okay there's nothing there so guys that is how you clear the contents not the log files the contents of the log file to avoid raising any suspicion on the other side okay so this is very very essential to a penetration tester or ethical hacker when doing their penetration testing tasks hope you have learned something today remember to subscribe 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 i will I'll also be doing a video on how we can clear tracks on a windows target machine too so you don't want to miss that subscribe like and share the videos thank you and i hope to see you in the next video